Journey into Fitness. I'm Susan Rubenstein. It is so great to be back with you all. I know it's been a while since I've done a new show, so I hope you enjoy this. Um, I hope everyone has stayed healthy and taken care of yourselves. And I know some of you have been out there and watching the shows and doing the workouts. I love hearing from you. Thank you so much for your feedback and and getting me back in the studio to now do a few shows. So today's workout, we're going to focus on the three C's. We're going to focus on cardio, which won't be crazy cardio, just a fun way to warm the body up. We're going to focus on conditioning, which will use weights, some strength training, and we're going to focus on core, the abdominal back system. So lots of good things coming up for the workout. Just a couple housekeeping rules. Check your space. Make sure you've got plenty of room, especially as we're tapping side to side and moving up and back a little bit. Have a water bottle with you. Have a towel. Um, I brought along a mat with me today, some weights for the conditioning part. I also bought, uh, bought, brought along a resist ball which I'm going to do a couple different uh, core exercises with. You don't have to have any of that, right? Maybe you're just in a nice, comfortable space. When you come down to the ground, maybe you're going to want to use a towel, just something soft underneath you. Make sure you're not going to slip on it. But basically, these workouts are for you, all right? So let's get started. Since I don't have music on, put on some music. Have it in the background, something uplifting, something that makes you feel good, all right? So let's get started. So we're just going to start with some simple toe taps. Notice my stance is out nice and wide. I'm going to peel those shoulders up, back, and down. Oh, it feels so good to move. Mm, now, as I'm moving those shoulders and tapping the toes, I want to think about a nice deep belly breath. So I inhale, exhale. Good. Make sure those sneakers are nice and tight. Four more. Last three. Keep those shoulders rolling. Oh, that feels so good. That feels good anytime. And then one more. Now we're just going to take it to a simple march. Stretch your arms up, take it down. Now let's move the arms forward with a push, close the hands and pull. Let's do that again. Inhale up, exhale. And again, we're going to push. So we just want to warm the body up. Take that fresh oxygen in, move it through your body and through your limbs. Couple more up. Good. Waking up that diaphragm. That diaphragm is a muscle. Good. And again, take it up. Down. Good. And reach. Now I'm going to do a simple toe tap. Here's the thing. If you feel like jazzing it up a little bit more, maybe putting a little pep into your step, go right ahead. I'm going to keep it on the lower side, the lower impact side, but I'm still going to get a great workout in. So as I'm moving side to side, notice my foot. I'm just tapping it in, tummy's in, nice and strong, making a nice strong fist here, pumping along. Good, let's do four more. Now we're gonna step it up and back. So those of you that know me know I call this the short step. So all we're doing is lifting our feet, taking it back, chin parallel to the ground. Good, couple more. And now we're just going to walk these feet out and reach, extend and squeeze. Can you engage the core here? Good. That's it. Three, two more. Now when I go back to my toe taps, I'm going to reach the opposite arm up and then kind of cross that foot right over the midline. So imagine there's a straight line on the floor and just kind of tap your toe over that line. Good. Keep that going, reaching up. Watch the shoulders. We're warming up that back. You've got it. Now I'm going to take the same move, but reach behind now. So I'm stepping over that line with my toe. Chest is nice and lifted. Eight, six. You've got four more. Good. Now let's do that short step again. Maybe pick up the speed a little bit more into a jog. Can we reach up and pull down? Good. Couple more. Now we're going to do that same move. Take it out and in. Take it out. That's it. 
Ooh, feels good. Last three, only two more to go. Good, now I'm gonna stretch these heels to the side. I'm gonna push out to the side, flexing the wrists. Good, you can keep your eyes forward and look out or you can turn a little bit. Careful on that neck. Four, three, two, now tap the toe back and pull and press with the arms. We're opening up those hips. Good, nice active warm up. Two more. Now, a little lateral flexion here. I'm gonna reach over and pull down. So I'm opening up this whole side. Reach and pull. Last four here. Three, two more. Good, now we're gonna take it to that other side. Reach. Feels good to move. Last four. Three more. Two, one more. Now bend your elbows, turn through that torso. So that waistline, try to keep your hips facing forward. Keep tapping it out, squeezing good. Four, now I'm gonna change things. I'm gonna bring the knees in front, elbows in front. And I'm gonna turn to the side here. So scoop those tummy muscles in, leaning slightly back. We call that the posterior chain, back, butt, and hamstrings, good. Now, keep the knees pressed down. Uh, another great one to get the abdominal back system heated up. Good. Now, last but not least, obliques. Cross that elbow towards that knee. Keep it going. Six, five, four, three, two. Now, tapping out to the side here but I'm gonna add now a little bit of a side lunge. So watch my feet. I'm gonna stop my feet and lunge to the side. Now I can do that with a reach. Nice and easy, reaching out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now I'm gonna take it over to that one side and come up. Good, so I keep sinking into that side lunge. This is always great in a warm up or just getting some cardio in. Couple more. Now in this last one, I'm gonna sink down, hands to the heart and pulse. So the elbows are lifted. Ooh, what a great stretch to this inner thigh here. Good, four more. Back to side to side. I'm gonna slide one hand behind, one arm forward. Nice long stretch and reach, reach. Good, keep going. You can work at your own speed. Good, now take it over to the side, touch that thigh. And then wrap that arm around like you're sweeping off the counter, cleaning it off. Good, now we're gonna take it to this side. We're gonna stretch, pulling it in. Good, nice big reach. Let's just play around with the arm. Let's tap down and come up. Two more. Last time, hands together, long stride, lengthening, chest up, pulse eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now come center hands to the thighs. Let's curve, open, and stretch. So I'm kind of dropping down into a squat with that. Protect your back. Good, three more, last two, one more time. All right, let's just spend a few more moments with that first C, cardio. So you can march, you can turn it into a light jog, maybe you like to bounce a little bit. All right, we're gonna start first with that short step. You're either gonna walk up and back or you can add that light jog. You can pick up the speed and go faster. Let's pump out those arms. Make a soft fist. Put your thumbs on top. Keep this moving. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now, side step. So I love side steps because it's important not just to move in one direction, right? We're not always just going forward and back. 
we move to the sides as well. Now, this is where you want to make sure you've got nothing around you. We're going to just take this up for four, three, two, and one, and then take it back. Good. Do that again. Slide it up. Two, three, four. Take it back. Now we can do this with a hamstring curl. Take it up. Two, three, four, and then take it back. Good. Doing it again. Step it up. And take it back. Now we can add one more change to this. When we come up, it's knees. Two, three, four. Take it back. Maybe you still want to just tap up and back. Do it again. One, two, three, four. Take it back. Good. Now let's tap it up and sweep the arms up. Now march or jog it back. Four, three, two, and one. Do it again. Sweep it up. Good. March or jog it back. We're going to do that two more times. Go. Sweep. Last time. Coming up right now. Here we go. Four, three, two, and take it back. All right. Now, finishing with a low impact jumping jack. Stretch that heel out. You can choose to do a full range, high impact. That's your choice, right? I want you to think about extending that heel out and reaching. You can always take your arms in front, work a little bit more of shoulder. Let's do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4 more, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Inhale. Woo, so maybe your heart rate's up, right? Let's grab some water, and I'm going to ask you to grab some weights. You don't need to pick up heavy weights. Maybe you're just using a couple water bottles. Maybe you're going to choose to just use your own body weight, all right? Mm. Always want to stay hydrated. Now, we had our feet moving before. Just keep it a nice, easy toe tap. Shoulders back. We're going to do some combination moves. We're going to do eight hammers. Jump in when you're ready. Or maybe just watch the first round. It's up to you. Good. Now some muscle conditioning. Then we're going to do W curls. So we're just changing the angle of how I'm working the bicep. Right out to my side here. Good. Couple more. Now, take it to the front. Take it up, rotate, press into shoulders. So I do a bicep, flip, and down. Got my toe tapping to the front. Eyes forward, heart nice and lifted. Pay attention to those shoulders. Good, couple more. Last one. Good, now march the feet, open the arms. Let's get a little chest in. We're gonna squeeze and open. Good, rotate in, nice and strong. In, line up those wrists over the elbows. Good, take it down to the side. Now just, chug, just march along, chugging along. Good, a little pump with those weights, sometimes a little extra weight bearing. All right, draw the weights to your side. Let's take those hammers again for eight, seven, six. Good. Last four coming up. Four, three, two more. You don't have to march. Maybe you want to stay still. W curls out to the side and down. You've got a firm grip on the weights, but not so tight that your hands hurt. Good. Three, two more. Now when we take it to the front, we go from bicep, flip, shoulders. Yeah. Woo. Reach. Squeeze those shoulder blades in and down. We've only got four more. How's that feeling, huh? Last three. Up. Good. Two more. Woo. One more time. Good. All right. Now bring those elbows out to the side. We're going to work that chest. Squeeze in and open up. 
Can you hear my feet marching along? Maybe you've got your music on. Good. Now, let's just add a little finisher here. Pulse it up. Just a couple inches up and down. Chest is nice and lifted. Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Oh, roll that out. All right. Now, I'm going to ask you to walk those feet out. You're going to do next what are called suitcase squats. So just imagine now your weights are two suitcases because we're getting back to traveling, right? All right. So feet are out nice and wide. Tummy's in. Shoulders up and back. I'm going to hold the suitcases on each side because I'm packing enough to be away for a whole month. You're going to sit down into your squat and come up. Now, as you're pushing that seat back, make sure the knees don't go past your toes. Scoop the belly in. Can you reset the shoulders? Good. All the way back, all the way up. Now, remind yourself, when you do this, we always want to be careful of the knees, not going past the toes. So the weight, when you come down, sinks into the heels, and then we push off through the heels on the way up. Chin stays parallel to the floor. Now, you wouldn't want to drop your butt below the back of the knees. And I always like to remind myself, as I'm down at the bottom, that I'm leaning the edges of my knees, the outside of my knees, towards my pinky toes, right? Like I'm trying to pull this carpet apart. Four, squeezing on up. Three, so we did cardio. Now we're doing our conditioning with strength. Two, one more time. Woo! Excellent. Roll those shoulders out. All right, now watch the next move. We're going to come down, come up, pivot the foot, press to the sky, come back to center. Now, as we're pivoting, we're turning the hip, we're turning the leg, the foot, we're turning the shoulder, we're pressing up. Maybe we're going to put our weight down for this. Be very careful of your back. So we sit, lift, rotate, and press. I love this move because it's what we call a compound movement. We're working more than one muscle group, which is fantastic. So we've got our lower body. We've got that core working the abdominals in the back, the abdominal back system. My obliques are firing. And I'm getting a shoulder press here. Good. Up. Let's finish up a few more. One more on each side. Notice that heel comes up. Good. And then release. Excellent. Shake those legs out. So do what you can. Maybe watch it. Come back to it another time. Maybe don't do eight or ten. Maybe do two or four. Now, speaking of another move, let's create now the turning of the toes to face about 11 and 1. Bring the weights in front. We're going to come down, come up, open the arms to a V, pull them in. Now we're concentrating here on those inner and outer thighs. The question is, how do your knees feel? So we don't want to draw those shoulders forward and round them. We want to look straight out and then reach. Good. Squeeze and reach. How does your back feel? Again, maybe you don't want to do weights with this one. Maybe you just want to use your own body weight. Excellent. Keep going. Six. Woo. Five. Nice and strong. Four more. Four. Three more. Good. Last two. One more time. Take it down. Come up, out, and in. Fantastic. Now, for the final move, and you got to decide, does this work for you or not? So that's what I want you to think about. I'm just here to be your guide and give you some great suggestions on how to take care of your body from the inside out. So you've got your feet underneath your hips. Now, combination move. We're going to take it to a curtsy. So we slide the foot back. As we bend the back knee, triceps come back, and then we step in. Then we curtsy to the other side, right? Should you modify this and maybe just do upper body because your knees and your hips don't like this? 
What's going to work for you? Slide it back. Good. So when on the leg slides back and I kick that toe out, the th thighs are touching though. The back of the front thigh, the front of the back leg, they're squeezing together. Good. Let's do eight more. Into those triceps. So I'm squeezing the back of the arm at the same time. Six. How you doing? Take a break whenever you need to. Good. Four more. Last three. Two more. And final one. Excellent. Good. Come on up. Shake that out. Hopefully your legs feel good. All right. So now, before we take it down to the floor, right, for our finisher, let's challenge ourselves with balance. So bring your feet underneath your hips. If you feel safer being near a wall or a countertop or a back of a couch, you'll want to do that. Stand on one leg. Take the other leg up. Now you've got your weights. You can hold them like suitcases. You can bring them to the top of your shoulders like you're, you're just kind of carrying something in front of you. You can straighten your arms overhead like you're putting that suitcase in the overhead compartment. And then find your gaze point. Don't worry if you've got to tap the floor a couple times. Shoulders down. Oh, that feels so good. Four, three, two, and you made this. You did it. Roll it out. So practice your balance every day, two minutes a day. All right, last side, and then we're going to take it to our floor work. So abdominals in. Find your gaze point. Decide where you're going to put your weights to start. Center of gravity. And then when you're ready, here we go. Just breathing in and slowly breathing out. No stress. That's it. Right there, you and me. We've got this. Whew. One side will be a little shakier than the other. Four, three, two, and you did it. All right, let's carefully bend the knees, protect the back, put down your weights, take a quick stretch. All right, we're going to roll those mats out because we're heading in towards our finisher. All right, so a little bit of core work. I brought along my ball, and I'll show you what we're going to do. You don't necessarily have to have the resistor ball for this. It's really up to you. All right, make sure you're drinking plenty of water. Mm. So as we're coming down into core, sometimes I just take my weights, create a little bit of a stand, keep the ball there, pull your tummies in. Now, as you're coming down to all fours, spread your fingers, reach out. Maybe you need to put something underneath your hands and your knees. Alternate opposite arm and opposite leg. Good. So we're reaching. Pelvis and hips are neutral. Tummy is in. Eight more. Seven. Six. Keep finding that neutral spine here. You've only got four more. Four. Three, last two, one more. Excellent. All right, stretch back a little bit here. Now, I've got the ball. So what I'm going to do is put it in my right hand, slide it forward, slide my left leg back. Now, at the same time, I lift the arm and the leg, pull the elbow to the knee, pull the ball to the chest, push the ball out, tap down, do the same side. So it's up, tuck out and down. Come up, tuck, out and down. Only four more and if you like any particular exercise that we've done today, you can always go back and do it again when we're finished. Muscle has memory. Just a few suggestions for your self-care toolbox. Two, one more, pulling in, reach, Set it down and in. Good. All right. So shake it out. Whoop. Knocked over my water bottle. I'm going to turn around now just because I want you to be able to see it. So we're coming to the finishing part of our workout. So now pulling your tummy muscles in. You want to make sure that you switch sides. Leg goes out. Arm goes out. Elbow knee. Reach. Touch. 
and lift. Good. So I always like to put these particular exercises at the end of my workout. And the reason why here is because I'm also getting a nice stretch and some back hair. Again, you can always go back and do these again. Squeeze. Good. Two more. And then your last one. Good. Excellent. All right. So for the last three minutes of our workout, let's take it out to a nice wide straddle. So I'm going to take the ball, stretch it as far away as I can. I might need to sit on a pillow. I'm going to reach towards that big toe, come up, take a side bend. So I'm going to wrap around and then take a side bend. Now, maybe it feels better to bend your knees and bend your elbow, right? How can you modify and still maintain good postural alignment? Woo! Feels good. Stretch and reach. Four more on this side. My hand is just kind of hanging out. That free hand on the floor. I'm going to do a couple more. Final one coming up. Excellent. Oh, all right. Just roll out those shoulders. Take the other hand out. Take that long stretch. Open everything up. You ready? Reach across and then over. Whew. So this is a great workout that you can do as a standalone, or maybe you want to add it to something else. Maybe you just took a walk with someone. Maybe you just went for a jog. Maybe you went for a bike ride. And then you're just looking for a little something else, right? Let's do a couple more. And then one more. And then maybe you have time to stick around for the next show and do a little bit of yoga, right? So this ball is pretty handy. Now if you just take it overhead, and then you can just do some side bends. Mm, these always feel good. So a nice grip here. So we're, we're using our hands, right? We've got to use our fingers for gripping. Let's do six more. Six, five, four more. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent. All right. So we are finished. So what I want you to do is if you're not going to stick around and take, a, say, a yoga stretch with me, for the next class that's coming up, what I'd like you to do is take a few minutes to stretch on your own. Go over the different muscle groups that we worked. Now, as you see me spinning around here, it's one of my favorite to loosen up my back. So the three C's, cardio, conditioning, and core. So I hope you had a good time with that today. All right, let's just tilt the head. Again, take time to stretch your body out. Mm. All right, let's come through center. Let's take a nice deep breath in all the way up. And then down one more time. So I want to thank you for joining me. It's great to be back with all of you. I'm Susan Rubenstein, and this has been a journey into fitness. Great to see you. I'll see you again. Bye, everyone. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.